You're welcome, Rhea. My mom's defending you as always, by it's the okay. way. It's okay. My mom called your mess art and my mess. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. <laughs> Hi, everybody. You're listening to Who Run the World, a podcast where me and my co-host, Rhea, come together to explore what it means to be Arab women. And sometimes we talk about it with other women and very little times we talk about it with other men. Today is a very, very special episode, Rhea. Why, why is it a special episode? It's our two-year anniversary. <gasps> what? Right. Two years from today. We published our first episode. That's right. And we did, um, you know, think about doing those like typical ones where we do best ofs and pits and peaks. Yeah, but we came up with a more fun idea. At least it's entertaining to us. And we called to two of the people who know us maybe the most. Since we were two. Since we were zero. <laughs> <laughs> so we're joined today by who, Rhea? Introduce our guests. We are joined today by Antoinette and Nicole, a.k.a. our mothers. V version 1.0. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello, girls. So what we thought we would do for this very special episode is that we would ask our mothers to tell stories from when we were two. They're going to embarrass us. Or you have embarrassed us. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> All right. So, Nikki, let's start with you. What was Rhea like when she was two years old? Independent. She liked to be alone when she was little, like, two, three, before going to school, she was not that sociable. She enjoyed being by herself, playing with her own things. How did she become as sociable as she is now? Because God knows she likes human beings now. Oh my God. She changed a lot when she started school. I mean, she made a lot of friends in, at school and she started reading a lot and opened up to other people. And then she, I, I guess now she cannot stay by herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. People do change. They d Apparently, they do, they do change. People do yes. change. For the better, for the worse, no one knows. For the better, for the better, right, mom? The better. I hope always for the better, of course. Antoinette, we're going to ask you the same question. What was Maridine like when she was two? Have she ever been two? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wise beyond my years. <laughs> she was a very pretty baby. She was really cute. I was cute. Cute as a button. Cute and very clever. Oh, did she say anything funny when she was younger? Uh, she was maybe two or two and two months, something like that. And uh, I was at the worst weight in my life, the skinniest one. And she came and uh, asked me, from where did you brought me? Oh, good question, by <laughs> the two, way. Baby. I said, uh, you were in my tummy. And uh, the doctor took you out. She looked at me from the top till my feet. I was in my head saying, she will ask me, how did he took me out? And then I was preparing an answer for a two years old baby. And then she told me, what was I eating? Bones? <laughs> <laughs> Always cared about what my next meal was going to be. Follow Permanent Hunger, everyone, on Instagram. Yes, my name on Instagram, at Permanent Hunger, in case you don't follow Permanently me. Permanently Hungry since 19. And also my mom's recipes are on the blog, permanenthunger.com. Nice, nice, uh, nice plug. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. So, Rhea. What? What's our next question? So, mom, you mentioned something about school. So happy to go. So proud to go to school. First day, she was so happy. She went to school. And then I picked her up uh, after three hours and her eyes were so red. I mean, Rhea, what are you doing? What happened? Why are you crying? So she said everybody was crying. So I had to cry. That's it. Uh, so she followed the trend of crying on the first day of school. So she had to cry because everyone else was crying. Maybe I was crying because I felt bad for everybody else. No, you didn't. You just joined the community. But you wanted to go the next day, no matter what. I mean, it was the beginning of conquering the world for you. One cry at a time. So my mom has a funny story about my first day of school in Canada. Uh, we went to Canada. She was two and a half maybe. I was leaving her and her brother with my mom. And not to give too much trouble to my mom, I found a French school who accepted to take her because my sister was teaching at that school on pre-maternelle. Because in Canada, they only start school at five. The first day, uh, you know, in Canada in September, it's a little bit cold. I gave her a, a sweatshirt 
and uh, ask her not to forget it at school. But she didn't speak any French. And uh, I went during the break to see how it's going with her because I was sure she will not understand anything from what the teacher is saying. And then I saw her coming out from the uh, door crying. I said, why are you crying? She said, she didn't let me bring my, t- <laughs> my sweat. <laughs> I said, it's okay, it's only a break. You, <laughs> you will be going back. No, really, she, she took care of her things. When she grew up, she lived in a complete disorder. I still do. Uh, you're better now. I mean, look at my kitchen. But my mother sa- faints every time she walks into my kitchen. I love your kitchen. Thank you. I, I think it's creative, you know, like I have my books, my spices. My mom is like, you have too many things on the counter. It's a, li- a living and lively place. You never say that about my room. Oh, uh, messy and the plus. <laughs> <laughs> So, Nikki, what is the moment you were very proud of Rhea when she was young? Okay, when she was in Jardin d'Enfants, I mean, in nursery, maybe she was four at the French school in New York. They did this exercise about the tea tasting. So for one month, every day, they used to give tea to the children and they used to taste the tea and give them the name of the tea. And after one month, they put all the teas and they had to taste all the teas and name them. And they were like 20 teas. I mean, not one or two. Andrea did 20 out of 20. And the teacher was so, I mean, excited about the idea that, wow, she, she did them all right. So this was my first proud moment at, the, at school. That's so cute. And it went downhill Then from there. Then what happened to your memory after that? Because you make me repeat myself Because it was it's still filled with tea names. So it never yeah. made room for anything <laughs> else. All you had was space <laughs> exactly. for 20 names of different exactly. tea sets. But it's funny because even though I recognize the taste, I'm not a big cook slash not a cook at all. No, you're a great eater though. Yes, I am a great eater. Très gourmet, ne veut pas dire savoir Ça c'est très vrai, merci beaucoup. You're welcome, Rhea. My mom's defending you as always, by it's the okay. way. It's okay. My mom called your mess art and my mess. <laughs> so it's fine. Don't be jealous. Mom, I think I have a, like, there's a story that I love hearing because it makes me sound really smart. So you're requesting, you're not allowed to request I'm a story. I'm requesting a story. You cannot, you, we have to ask her the same question and then she needs it's to come up with it. It's kind of the same question. It's about a moment where she was proud of me, but it was, it was the test to go into school. Yeah. Yeah. See, you reminded her of it. I can. I forgot There's it, no rules. Yeah. I didn't know that those were the rules of this game. This was when uh, she was in pre maternelle in uh, the school in Canada. They found that she's uh, really brave and uh, learned very quickly. And they decided that they will ask for a derogation de la loi to let her the next year be in maternelle. Because I'm smart, baby. Don't get ahead of yourself. Let's finish the story. And then she had to go to a psychiatrist to do some assessments on uh, whatever she knows. The night before the day that uh, she had to go, she had an otite. An ear infection. And uh, it was very painful. She didn't sleep all the night. And my mom was saying how she would go to an exam tomorrow. For my mom, it was an exam. And then she went the next day. I remember two questions of what he asked her. The first question was, why do uh, little uh, children go to the bathroom before going to sleep? She said, I don't know, ask them. <laughs> <laughs> she was not concerned I'm at not all. I'm not a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> and then the second one, he, he asked her, Marie, who is my sister, she, she was with her, Marie have three dolls, and she, then she received one more. How many dolls have uh, Marie? She said, she can't have three, I have only two. <laughs> gave her these things like nobody has three dolls the supplier that's giving this woman four dolls yeah with all the pain she was arguing um so rea how does that make you feel about me i wouldn't want to negotiate things with you (laughs) (laughs) actually you always tell me i should have been a lawyer i did i did which is really funny because uh not allowed my mom didn't want me to be a lawyer my family has a really funny story about lawyers which i don't agree with that lawyers are liars that lawyers are liars have to lie Because they have to defend someone. They have to lie. It's their job. Or not to say the truth. Right. Not the whole truth. And therefore, I would be a liar. But I don't agree with that. My father wanted me to be a doctor and then a lawyer. And then I became a podcaster. Yeah, true. You're making him so proud. Even though you are a copy-paste of your father. 
I think you look like him so much. Eh? Ooh. Ooh, what do you mean? The writing skills, the reading skill, the analytic uh, way of reading. So many things she took from her dad, <laughs> more than me. But I did take some things from you, no? Aki, managing skills and also analytical skill, I think. And also, Nikki, an amazing ability to network and build relationships with people. Yes, true. That's true. That comes from you, for sure. I think so, yeah. But so many things, so many things we remember about Treya's stories with her dad when she was a little kid, more than her stories with her mom. Like what? Tell us a story with her dad. One time, uh, we were uh, out in the car, five of us. Tony was teasing Treya. And then she told me, why the hell we brought that today? Cute. It's cute. Eh? And, and even though one time at school, they asked her, what does your dad do? What did I say? She told them, he just go to the <laughs> office. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do there? We don't know. Well, what about you ladies? What do you think that Marilyn is similar to you? Many things. If you notice these days, we always think the same thing. We, we, we say at the same time the same sentence. She has a great heart. Uh, she hides it better than me, but uh, uh, she's very reasonable. She's fair. Uh, I'm proud of her. She is a hard worker also like me. <laughs> so I work like a 12-hour day and I come down and mom is like, you're working too hard. I'm like, remind me, who, who used to have like Sunday lunch at the bank? I was 15, I would, you know, get in a car, go meet my mother at the office because that's where she was camping out and then have lunch with her and then leave because she would stay at the office. And I'm like, I wonder where I get this from. And then sometimes she'd be like, you're stubborn. And I'm like, hmm, fascinating that you should say that. This is my best quality. But also one that's really interesting. So we like to play cards a lot in our family. And we noticed that regardless of whether we're on the same team or on opposing teams, at the end of every round, we debrief about how we could have played it better. This is what we call good players. <laughs> Thank you. To analyze the, the coup. Exactly. And uh, that's really interesting because I think that that means we are better at dealing with setbacks. When something bad happens, the only thing that I always ask myself now as an adult is, what could I have learned? And when I find the thing that I can learn, I put it to rest. And so it was interesting to see this. And the card playing thing, I think in our family, we've been doing since we were kids. I think you guys even use cards to teach us how to do additions and subtractions. And no, Anna, I missed the card boat. You totally missed the card I boat. I missed the card. Yeah. My mom is a big card player and is, is quite good. I love it. Uh, I love to play cards. Ah, me too, Nicole. We should play cards together. Yalla. We do a party. Mom, would you say I'm a good card player? I think uh, you are a potential. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki's always the diplomat, you know. So, Rhea, on the occasion of our two-year anniversary together, what's your hope for the next uh, five years? For who run the world? For who? for who run the world. Okay, so I want us to reach a more listeners. I would like us to potentially go on tour and do Ooh. live shows. So you want us to be famous. Can you just say that? I want us to be famous and reach more ears and go have a tour bus. Do you want us to like have t-shirts with our faces on them? No, just with the logo. Why not? I don't want Like, like a cartoon version? No. Why not? But that It's I weird. I want to be famous. I'm not going to wear my face. No, merch. Oh, yes. You merch, put it yes. on the back. You put it on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's an excellent solution. Where do you want us to be in five years? I would like us to not only go on a tour, potentially write a book. <gasps> yes. But also create some form of community around what we do. Agreed. Where other men and women, but women first, can get support. I like that. Because like, look at these four women. Where would we be without our support system? Nowhere. Wait, let's ask, where do you guys hope to see us in five years? Wherever you are happy. Oh, exactly. But I want to see kids, Nicole. Oh no, here it is. I want to see in five years kids for the two of them. Aki. Your turn, Nicole. Uh, for me, kids and a husband, yeah. Yeah, but one of them have already a husband. <laughs> I want a kid with a husband. <laughs> Although a husband isn't necessary. That's true. No, it's nice to have a partnership in life. That's true, I have to agree. I sometimes want to murder mine, but I'm glad he's there. I have no murderous intentions towards anybody. 
You're too nice. I am too nice. Mom, aren't I nice? Uh, you are nice. I hope really that uh, your career will go long way. The, you will have kids, of course, and the family. And uh, I love seeing you like sisters. Rhea doesn't have a sister. And I love to see Marilyn like a sister to her. So I'm very happy. Crazy. There's a story where my mom has uh, elected you as my maid of honor for I my wedding. I am your maid of honor. I'm your sister. I'm your partner. No brainer. No brainer on that. Thanks, Nikki. <laughs> it's really nice to know that you're on, you know, on my side of the court. A kid, of course. I am. This Nikki has my back. And Antoinette has mine. Antoinette has yours, yes. There we go. Now everyone's happy. Now we're real sisters. <laughs> All right. Rhea, any last questions? No, just gratitude is the actual word. What are you grateful for? I'm grateful for um, the family that I was born into and the family that I've made along the way. Oh, nice, Rhea. We're grateful to have you, really. So on this beautiful note of gratitude, we're also grateful for all of our guests and our listeners over the last two years. We're grateful for all the support that we've received and everyone who believed in us. And we're grateful for everyone who will start listening to us in the future. And we're the most grateful for our moms. And each other. And each other. All right. On this lovely note, if you don't already follow us, please find us on Instagram at Who Run the World Pod. And if you don't follow us, we will unleash our moms onto you. And they are fierce women. Totally fierce. We're only like the second version. They're the original. If you want to tell us stories about when we were kids, if you're one of our friends and you remember something funny from school days, email us at say hi at whorunthworldpodcast.com. Uh, we do hope that, you know, this uh, second anniversary is one of many to come. And we can't wait for what's coming next. Tour bus, baby. <laughs> <laughs>